Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Valspar Championship is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. It's a pivotal day coming up for this player on the team. I'm Luke Elvey. Great to have Rich Beam alongside me. And Rich, what do you think of their chances? Never easy going to bed with the lead. And they're out here today. It's probably weighing on them a little bit. I got to say, though, this player has been playing well. That's why they have the lead. So they have to be excited and they have to like their chances going to this final round. Well, it's all promising to be a good day. Can't wait to see what happens. Wow, I didn't even know they had this power. Great drive. Well, I know that we're in the booth and not right up close to it, but it doesn't take a smart person to work out. That's not a nice lie. Going with the hybrid. Oh, clever play that. Just get it back into the fairway. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. What's in front of them, Henny? Firm back up the hill. This will be a good one. It's got a chance. Getting off to a great start at this event. Making birdie in the first always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun to watch the ground progress. Currently in first position. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Now on the tee, fresh off a of birdie, a great opportunity to build on that momentum. Downhill tee shot, you want to keep your tee shot out to the right as best you can to take out the trees that hug the left hand side. Green sits well above the player's second shot. They won't see how close they hit it from the fairway. And he's down there. Setting up here from about 180 yards. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Where will this one end up? That's a tad wayward. Not quite finding the surface. Now from that lie, missing the green was always an option. Oh, a lovely opportunity to save par here. This one has eyes for the hole. For the par. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Here we are at the third.
Time for the second shot into the third. Choosing the nine iron here. They've decided to club up. Yeah, a quality shot from him. He'll be pleased. A birdie putter waits. Rolling end over end. This putt's looking great. Oh, he's on fire today, building upon his lead, hole after hole. This guy is putting the lights out of it this week. He's currently sitting in first place. And this is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. Teeing off here at the fourth. This is a challenging par three, no doubt about it, Luke. This green pitches from right to left and from front to back, making it almost impossible to get it super close unless you have a perfect number into this par three. Oh, come on, sit. That's a good-looking shot there. Never seen a scorecard that doesn't look good with a two on it. This is buckets. And he holds it. What a putt. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Oh, I'd like to have one more look at that shot. Now this, this is how you putt. Take another look at this. leading by a phenomenal 12 strokes after that one. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Teeing off here at the fifth. This is full send. Second shot here on the fifth. Quality shot, that one. And here we are with the third shot. Wind is blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the wind back to this pin. Oh, that was pure. 19 feet to the cup. 
This is their look at Birdie. Come on, ball. Come on. That's inside the range. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Still in the lead now after that hole. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Here we are at the sixth hole. This is probably the hardest fairway to hit on the PGA Tour, Luke. This fairway cambers from right to left at a pretty good clip. And unless you work your tee shot from left to right, a high soft shot, you're not going to find the fairway. This is almost impossible. The second shot will be from an awkward stance where the ball is above you or below you to a green that's perched a little bit above the players. Thankfully, though, it's a very flat green. That's just not going to work for him. Henny, do you have a better look at this lie? Oh, this might trigger a temper tantrum. This is not sitting nicely. Going with the eight iron here. Yep, solid connection. This is looking good. That lie was so bad, I didn't think they'd be able to get it anywhere near there. Lining up the birdie putt here. If that's the right pace, this should drop. Yes, they've made it. Well, that's worth reviewing. Let's roll the video tape. I need to see this again because I still can't believe they hold that. After that hole, they currently lead in first place with John Rahm in second. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. This hole is a par four. Yeah, that one will play. Time for the second shot here at the seventh. This one heading towards the green. Now this is some ball striking. Hitting greens in regulation, it's a thing of beauty. Another green in regulation. This is an absolute clinic. And that fine play ensures they hold top spot on the leaderboard with John Rahm trailing in second place. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. This one looks like it's going left. That wasn't their best approach, Beamer. Wind is absolutely swirling in this part of the golf course. From the sand, are they able to get up and down?
Oh, 13 footer coming up here. This is huge for momentum. Gotta try and hold this. This for par. This one's tracking. Oh, that's a good way to end. What was a challenging hole? And to be fair, getting it up and down out of the bunker, albeit that was a pretty simple, straightforward bunker shot. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Teeing off now on the ninth hole. That one's right out of the top drawer. Playing this shot from around 120 yards. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. He's had a disagreement with the caddy. He's gone down a club. Oh, lovely looking shot into birdie range here at the ninth. This part of about seven feet to the hole. This one's looking good. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. It's a lofty position this player has held all tournament, but what a buffer they've built with just nine to play. Yes, but if they start thinking about it, that's where the danger happens. They have to keep their head down and keep playing on the front foot if they want to see this thing all. Oh, that is crushed. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Setting up from about 100 yards. This one is chewing fiber. That was a beauty. Birdie at the last. This for another. Yep, tracking nicely. Gets that one to go down, and that's back to back birdies. Gotta like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. And after that hole, they currently lead in first place with John Rahm in second. But this is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. Teeing off now at the 11th hole. This shot here from about 240 yards. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. 
using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Come on, don't be shy. Oh, that would have been outstanding to make the eagle. And they'll tap this in for birdie. Just building upon his advantage, he keeps making the important plays. And that fine play ensures they hold top spot on the leaderboard, with John Rahm trailing in second place. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? He's got, mm, I'd say, a solid 145 here. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Oh, I like that strike. This one's heading well towards the green. A wonderful shot and a birdie opportunity coming up at the 12. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Putting for birdie. That was a gallant attempt. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. Hey, that's a chance. Now, oh, that's got to be frustrating. Hit such a great approach shot in, but wasn't able to convert. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. There's always a sense of excitement striding onto the tee of a par three hole. Luke, I've never seen a green in golf repel more golf balls than the 13th here at Innisbrook. It's like it's made out of Gore-Tex. Golf balls just don't stay on it. It is really one of the hardest shots at this Innisbrook golf course. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hold a long one. Still counts. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? All right, down the hill here. Got to be gentle. Oh, so close. He's got a par part here. Let's see if he can make it. Well done. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Let's begin the 14th. Only the biggest hitters in the game can reach this one in two, so any tee shot just out to the right is ideal. That way it leaves an easier shot out to the left for your layup. The third shot will be going downhill to a green that tilts from back to front, guarded by a deep bunker over on the left-hand side. You find the fairway with your second shot, you've got a really good chance to hit your third in there close.
And this player is really going after it here, Rich. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and getting rewarded for it. Steady on. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? Setting up this putt 14 feet from the cup. He's staring down a birdie putt here. Was that a good line? Just three feet to the cup. And three putting for par on this hole. And now that finds him in first place. This is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. Time to hit a good one here at the 15th. Opting for the six iron. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. Wow, what a shot. Oh, well played. Lovely shot. Inside a couple of feet, guaranteed birdie for him. Just a short putt remaining here. And after that hole, they currently lead in first place with John Rahm in second. Three holes remaining, Luke. This is getting awfully fun. And a par four awaits at this next hole. There's some trees over on the right-hand side that you want to take it just left of to find the center of the fairway. From there, you're going to go in with a mid iron to a really small green. A high, soft shot is required to hold this green. That a boy, good shot. And Henny, what's he facing with this one? And from around 135 yards. This looks to be hit pretty well from where I'm standing. Oh, that's outstanding. Another great shot by our leader. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. Yeah, they're good momentum makers, those ones. Good putt for birdie. Back-to-back -back birdies never hurt, Rich. Kind of like it. He's feeling it. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. Well, here we go, Rich. We're at the penultimate hole, the 17th. The final challenging par three on this golf course. Good news is, though, is the green funnels in from both the right and left edges. Most shots are going to end up right in the center of this green. Mm, that's right out of the copybooks. Exquisite. You know what? That deserves a golf clap. An opportunity for a birdie here. What a putt started this perfectly. And that's for birdie. Well hold. He sits in first position. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Well, this is when the adrenaline really starts to kick in. Leading the tournament with the final hole to play. Good luck. Oh, 
what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. That drive was simply astonishing. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? A wonderful shot into the 18th and a chance for birdie. And this putt for the tournament. It's looking solid. And there's your Valspar Championship champion, Rich. What a week. Absolutely. Great playing all week long. Must say it was a hard-fought but well-earned victory. On behalf of Rich Beam and all the hard-working folks at 2K Sports, I'm Luke.